Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the app for you now. First of all, you have to obviously install it on your smartphone or tablet from the Google Play or Apple App Store. Once you've installed the app, you can just tap on the icon and the first time you play it, it will ask you to agree to some terms and conditions. So please do read this information. The important things to note are we don't recommend you do this if you're currently underweight or if there are any health reasons why you should uh, reduce your snacking or calorie intake or lose weight. Um, it may or may not work for you and you should also understand that there is data sent from the app to the University of Exeter server, but it's all anonymous data. We have no way of identifying you from it. So on the first page, it just asks for a bit of background information about yourself, so you can just enter your, your age, uh, your sex, your height and weight. You can change the uh, metrics here, so you can put your height in feet and inches or in centimetres. And if you're taking part in a research study and somebody has given you a participant ID number, then please enter it into this box here. If you're a member of the public doing this for yourself, please leave this box blank. So then we just collect a bit of background information about whether you're currently dieting, if you're trying to restrict unhealthy food or increase healthy food intake, and whether you currently are a smoker or suffer from any metabolic disorders. And finally, um, we're asking about your current food intake. So we would like you to rate how often you have eaten the following foods or drinks over the previous month. So your average intake over the last month. So there are 18 different types of foods we'd like you to rate. So if you can just tap the bars um, to say how frequently you'll see, that's once a week, two to four times a week and so on and the most frequent is four or more times a day. Once you've completed the food frequency scale, um, carry on, and then you're ready to start playing. And we'd like to ask you those questions again in one month's time to see if anything's changed. Okay, you'll have a quick tour of the app, so you can just read through that. Um, Essentially, we want you to tap on anything that flashes up on the screen that's in a green circle and every time you do that, you'll win a point. Then there will be objects in red circles and we don't want you to tap on those. And we'd like you to sit as still as possible when those appear. So the game works by training an association between certain foods and completely inhibiting all of your motor responses. So we think it's important that you play this game while you're sitting still rather than when you're on the move. So we're recommending that you do the training once a day for a week and then perhaps once a week for the rest of the month if you're just trying this out for one month. We think the training is most effective um, if you do it when you're hungry or when you'd usually be craving food or snacking. So try to do it perhaps before a meal or when you're in a, t a time or a place when you would usually have a snack. And yeah, just to reiterate, to sit still, ideally with your device on um, a desk or surface in front of you or on your lap. Try not to hold it in your hand and move around when you play. So just to run through, you can personalise the app to yourself. Um, you can choose categories of food or drink that you currently find difficult to resist and that you would like to eat less of. Those can then appear in the game. And you can set notifications to remind yourself to play the app at a particular time of day on um, every day of the week or just certain days. And finally, if you're red, green, colour blind, you can switch to accessibility mode um, so that you can see the different circles, the ones that uh, indicate you have to tap versus those um, that indicate you should inhibit your response. Okay, so then we're ready to start. So I'm just gonna go in on the options and show you how to select foods that you want to train yourself to resist. So you can choose the default, which is a range of snack foods, or you could choose foods that might be more relevant to yourself. So maybe you struggle to resist pizza or maybe cakes. So you can choose up to three categories. If you want to deselect a category, just tap off. Okay, and next you can actually, on the iPhone version, you can customize the healthy foods as well. So you can choose um, whether you want to eat more raw vegetables or fruits, for example. 
And finally, you can change the notification settings. OK, and then when you're ready, you can start. So there are some questions that are sometimes asked before or after you play. Um, so you can answer those if you've had a desire for food. You can rate how strong that desire was, whether you tried to resist it, and did you give in and eat what you were craving? Did you eat a small amount or a regular amount? OK, then you're ready to start. So you just click Start. And all you have to do is tap on anything that appears on the screen in a green circle and stay still if there's anything in a red circle. So you'll notice every time you tap on a green item, you win a point. If I accidentally tap on a red item, I will lose a point. So at the end of one round, there are three rounds in one uh, session of the game, you'll get your accuracy and your average touch speed, your reaction time. And you should try to keep improving your accuracy and making your touch speed faster each time you play. One more thing to mention is if you're playing on your phone and you get a call or a message, it is possible to interrupt the game and resume it. So I'll just show you um, that. So if I wanted to pause, I could exit the game, take my call, come out of the app, go back into it. When I start again, I'm just asked if I'd like to resume. And finally, you'll notice there are non-food items in the game. Um, and we think these are important for learning the associations because we learn relative to other associations. You can find out more about this on our website.